next at six, we're learning new information about a toddler who was shot and killed. New documents detail what happened before and after two year old Kari Gladden was shot in the chest at his home in Lancaster. As those new details come in, a makeshift memorial is growing. Flowers, a balloon and teddy bear were dropped off at the home today. Crime scene investigators were back at that home today trying to piece together everything that happened. It's been two days since the shooting and the police department is staying tight lipped about the details surrounding the case. Yeah, but NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendez got her hands on documents painting a clearer picture of exactly what happened. Tanya, lots of details to go through tonight, but what are you learning? Well, the big questions that we had yesterday about how this little boy wound up shot and killed now answered in these affidavits. According to police, the boyfriend admitted that he had a nine millimeter handgun. He left it in the living room and then left the room and all of a sudden they heard a shot ring out. Crime scene investigators back Wednesday working to get a better picture of the Lancaster home where a two year old was shot and killed. And now we're getting a better picture too of where that gun came from. In this case, there was no errant bullet. This is not an incident of random violence. According to this affidavit, the mother's boyfriend, Shazim Hayes, had a 9mm handgun that he kept loaded and unsecured. On Monday night, record show Hayes came home, put the gun down in the living room, and then left the room. A few minutes later, a gunshot blast. Mom, Tony Gladden, and boyfriend ran into the room and found Gladden's two-year-old son, Jakarian, bleeding from the chest, slumped over on the couch. Gladden and Hayes tried to rush the toddler to the hospital, but crashed the car along the way. When they finally got to the ER, doctors did what they could, but Kari died. Now, a teddy bear and balloons at the home and memories from the family. His smile and personality make your heart melt. We just want to know what happened to our baby. Hayes supposedly admitted to detectives that he often left his handgun on the table next to the couch and the children's mother knew it. Gladden, on the other hand, accused of lying and covering up where the gun came from. Police calling them both negligent. Well, a two year old is dead with a gunshot wound. That's about as negligent of a circumstance that I can think of right now. The boyfriend, Shazim Hayes, remains behind bars on no bond. The mother, Tony Gladden, has a $60,000 bond. In Lancaster, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte.